there are not so many women uh, who have uh, received uh, the Nobel Prize, so um, I'm more rare and therefore more interesting. <laughs> the time that we are studying is uh, the more the subjective time. So it's like a clock just ticking and yeah. then giving time tags yeah. to uh, the events so that you can uh, tell what is coming before something else. Uh, it's related because this happens in the sister area of where we discovered the grid cells. So we discovered the grid cells in the more medial part of the entorhinal cortex. This is in the lateral, so it's more to the ears. We uh, discovered uh, these cells that uh, responded to, to time, mm -hmm. to running time, and that uh, different tasks would let the clock run differently. And that is exactly how we experience time, isn't it? That sometimes time is just flying yeah. and sometimes it's too slow. Our lab, we are dealing only with basic science, but of course we are working in an area that is important for making spatial navigation to understand the sequences in time and also it's important uh, structure giving information to the hippocampus that is uh, necessary for making our uh, memories, episodic memories. And when you work even with basic questions in such areas, it is relevant mm -hmm. for humans and for disease. Yeah. If, if people have some memory problems, and they go to the scanner and they see that they have uh, a cell death in this area, mm -hmm. then uh, the prognosis is bad because then they typically develop Alzheimer's disease. So what I think the main focus should be on is to stop cell death early enough. I have one message to them and that is to try to explain how the brain is dealing with uh, episodic memory and what type of cells are helping us to addressing the questions that we have regarding uh, episodic memory. Where did it happen? What happened? And when did it happen? <laughs> there were some, some young people who came to me today and they said, we don't believe it, it's not possible. You are a human being. <laughs> so if, if I can show the young people that I'm a normal human being, then they know they can also do things that they love.